garden railroads often start small and expand to fill the yard. But one man expanded his railroad beyond the yard, taking it to a higher level. Model railroads are often inspired by a certain time and place. Many pay tribute to a special railroad from days gone by. But the Wild Eagle Garden Railroad in Phoenix, Arizona is no trip down memory lane. It's a freestyle showcase of one man's creative energy. Dan Hogue started his railroad in 1997, and since then he's kept this single purpose in mind, keep it interesting. I started out, I liked steam engines and stuff. I just wanted to make something interesting and fun and I always switch things around so something new was happening all the time. And then I sort of liked the 30s and 40s and it sort of grew into that and now I use diesels and whatever I like, I just do. The Wild Eagle is a G-scale railroad that runs on 500 feet of track around three connected loops. With help, Dan can run four trains at one time. My control system is uh, battery-powered remote control, and that because I wasn't very good at wiring, so I thought uh, that way I don't have to worry about anything down on the track. The only thing that's electrical would be the reversing units, of course, and they just run back and forth by themselves. The centerpiece of the railroad is a large waterfall spanned by a Hellgate bridge. The waterfall has a cooling effect in this harsh desert climate. When Dan first started his railroad, the Arizona sun destroyed his wooden structures as well as the flowers planted by his wife, Patience. One of the things that I think has really benefited this particular railroad is the fact that we've got these enormous shade cloths as awnings built over top of the railroad. Dan also searched for different materials other than wood for his structures. As a welder by trade, he found his answer one day at work. I uh, have a welding shop and I said to myself one day, uh, let me see, steel bridges, there were steel bridges and they were made out of steel, so why aren't I making uh, bridges? And so I started there and then I started creating other things after that uh, to buildings and structures and all sorts of things and they really hold up and you don't have to worry about the sun, you just, if you don't like something, you paint over it. Dan's latest design is this overhead train system installed on his back porch. Before tackling this outdoor project, Dan decided to experiment by building one inside his home, his newly remodeled home. It was a little bit of a struggle to sell me on that because he had to cut walls or holes in the walls that we had just put up. I mean, I just got done cleaning up all the drywall dust and then he goes and cuts holes in the wall. But I have to say that I thought it looked really good. The overhead train runs through the bedroom, the closet, and around the bathroom. From there, Dan went on to build a second, larger system for his living room, family room, and kitchen. As a final touch, he had the trains cross a central bridge. He proposed this crossover bridge, and he told me what he had in mind, and then he drew me a picture, and I said, you can't do that and make it look good. There's just no way that you can do it. And so I went down the shop and started working on a bridge, and that's what I came back with, and she goes, I didn't think you could do that. I go, okay, there it is. She says, I can't even believe this. <laughs> and it was just a beautiful piece of art, actually. So really, it's become a center, center point in the house. And I hate it when he's right. But he, but he was right again. So I, I like to decorate it now. I put Christmas lights on it and stuff. It looks really good. Dan took what he learned back outside, creating an overhead train and a new layout on his back porch. This time, he's sticking to a theme. All the stuff on the porch is European style, and we're working towards to really uh, make that really a neat uh, area for people to go into. And uh, it has two trains running up above, and then a rack train and a uh, streetcar, European streetcar, with dioramas. In the backyard of his Phoenix home, Dan Hogue has created a very personal railroad, one that reflects his own inventive mind and vision. Well, what I enjoy most about garden railroading is I like to create things, and it's maybe not even so much running the trains. It's just sort of putting yourself in a different world. As it turns out, Walt Disney was a huge train fan, which I did not know. But see, I'm a huge Disney fan, so, so I can appreciate this mind that Dan has. He, he's like a genius. The Wild Eagle Railroad looks complete, but for Dan, it's a work in progress. I have lots more ideas, and people say, well, how are you going to put any more in here? Well, 
it's not so much putting it in, it's, it's creating a little bit more of an atmosphere, maybe changing the scenes around, maybe doing a little bit more animation, animation that I never thought I could do before. And as you learn, it just evolves and it just becomes a lot of fun.